Hi Virgo, here is a general look at your solar chart for September 2016 and may I wish you a happy birthday. I hope you have a good one if you haven't had it already. Now this is a very significant month for all of the signs but uh, particularly for you guys because there's going to be two eclipses. One is a solar eclipse in your sign, the other is a lunar eclipse in the sign opposite yours. Um, also, this is the month when Jupiter moves out of your sign after 12 months and moves into the sign after yours, uh, Libra, but more on that in a few minutes. Um, here I want to cover the solar eclipse. Mentioning the lunar eclipse though, this um, is happening on the um, 16th and will be affecting um, most strongly um, the mutable signs, so that's uh, Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, but the solar eclipse is also affecting the mutable signs Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces. Now on September the 1st the Moon and the Sun will um, come very very close together and on that day there um, when the eclipse happens they will be opposing Neptune in your opposite sign and at right angles to Mars and Saturn which is which are um, at the um, root, the foundations of your chart. So all very important sensitive points in your chart along with the Sun. And those of you born 7 to 12 degrees um, of the sign, or we could take that back further and say uh, 4, to, um, 4 to sort of 15 degrees, um, you're going to be feeling the eclipse energy the most, or those of you born in the in the last few days of August or the first few days of September will be feeling the energy the most on your sun, but there might be an important point or planet there in, that we can only know by looking at your natal chart. Now, an eclipse energy of and in itself is the energy which allows us to make a fresh start, um, turn over the, a, a new leaf. Um, this might be a, a moment of culmination at the same time as a, as a new beginning. Um, so, so sort of like that, you know, um, the king is dead, dead, long live the king. <laughs> because as one thing comes to a, a, an end, another thing can then begin. And this is a time for new beginnings. Self-improvement activity should be initiated uh, because this is all about you and whether this relates to your physical well-being, your personal ambitions, uh, what are nearest and dearest, what's closest to your heart, um, this is a time for change there. Uh, that can be instigated and initiated by yourself or it can just be happening. Um, and during the solar eclipse, um, as I said, the Sun and the Moon are going to be opposite Neptune and this is a kind of slippery energy um, which doesn't, denies us clarity. Um, last month and the month before I'm, I made a thing about talking about the Saturn-Neptune transit and this Saturn-Neptune energy along with Mars this month uh, all are all very close together by degree, especially on the eclipse day. And because that's such a sort of a major vibrational event we could say, um, that that energy of all of those other planets are mixing in with the pure energy of the eclipse and then they that that will be pulsed forward over the coming six months or if you like it's like a seed it will be um, impregnating our field on, on on the earth and 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 then that will slowly start to open up its flower or its fruit or its plant or whatever you how you want to see it over the next six months from September the 1st. So that energy, um, that energy will be streaming that the, the information through from where the eclipse happened in your personal chart, but in all of our personal charts as well, and your sun sign chart um, across the whole world, along with the Saturn, Neptune, Mars dynamic. Now where they're sitting at the moment, these three, is pretty awkward. It's, it's tricky. Um, 
and as I mentioned last month that we we are um, we are in a time where uh, it's easy for others to push our buttons or to get us um, losing the plot or being a bit fearful about things because we start to fret and worry about you know the bogeyman or uh, that, 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 that fear based thinking that it's almost like paranoia coming in um, and of course most people in the world aren't going to know this is something to do with the configuration up in the sky but um, it's the configuration itself this is no problem it's the way <clears throat> humans react to it now y you because you're listening to this do know um, and you know how to sort of bat the ball as uh, or, or, or surf the wave maybe we could say um, of that energy as it comes through this next six months now Saturn Neptune um, where it is it, it, it means that um, there can be delusion around uh, that 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 really quite strong even aggressive actions may be taken based on a fallacy now that might be out there in the wider world or it might be indirectly affecting you or it might be directly affecting you or it might even be you that's doing it you that are as they say making a mountain out of a molehill because this is more likely now with this kind of energy it's definitely not the time to take a gamble on something um, if we turn it around and say okay how can we capitalize on this and make it our friend instead of an enemy then you can say all right well with Mars and Saturn in the mix then you can march forward on something step by step in a very disciplined kind of a way in a very um, dogged persevering kind of a way you could say that um, Mars is at the root of your chart so this might be to do with family it might be to do with property a venue it might be to do with a neighborhood or a community it might be to do with the past uh, the parents um, or a parent it's particularly connected to the father line but it can be either parent um, so it can skeletons could start rattling in the closet anyway um, so you could say okay let's bring all this to the surface and put it you know on the table and do what we can to deal with this um, make a game of it make an art of it make whatever you want out of it and it might be not directly affecting you personally it might be out there in the community so um, it might be that people's prejudices come to the fore based upon not very much and if these people happen to be an authority across the world um, who begin to get this kind of uh, creeping panic panicky feeling maybe based on hearsay very likely um, then people could go the wrong way like I said before I think it's rather unfortunate that the the vote for the for the UK to leave the EU came under this very slippery sneaky secretive um, confusing aspect and there uh, it will be around for a while there's June July August September and a little bit of October now you have Neptune in your opposite sign so it might mean that as well that um, somebody that you're close to either through family or just a close, close association um, is more needy or more leaning on you or that you um, get the wrong idea about them and with the Saturn Neptune thing happening on the eclipse um, it, it might be so you're underestimating or overestimating and you Virgo is born the 1st to the 4th of September or with 9 to 12 degrees rising will feel the energy uh, of this the most this month now it might not be anything to do with you or it might be at one remove or more than one remove from you but because you're hearing this and probably if you're interested in astrology you know about it anyway um, 
there's lots of different ways of speculating ho ha on how this may pan out in individuals lives you know it is not one size fits all um so a kind of um tolerance has to be there but also a groundedness and a level-headedness and in a listening. Mercury, your ruling planet, is conjuncting Jupiter in your sign on the day of the eclipse. Now this is a saving grace. Um, it's a minor aspect compared to Mars and Saturn and Neptune. However, it's still in there and every little bit helps. So if you were to reach further away from yourself for teaching, advice, um, for um, yeah, just 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 comparing notes with others, or or teaching, or education, um, or maybe um, um, going back to some old um, philosophy um, and, and using that in a practical sort of a way. Um, maybe also on a more sort of mundane human level, connecting politically or through the law. This is a good area here right so it would it would tend to be on your side um but of course we 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 need to find um what chimes and resonates with us the best of course so um mercury is very very much strongly in your sign and jupiter is also in your sign at the time of the eclipse and those two together could be offsetting the sharper gruffer side of this eclipse energy um, which will which will carry through on its wave these hangers on of Mars Saturn and Neptune so now the Sun the Sun is in your sign obviously it's your birthday time so uh, it's time for you to be more self-centered to get on with things that you particularly personally want to get on with and you want to go and do and experience or whatever it is and um, there could be more coming at you, though, in the way of paperwork or in the way of, you know, contacts and, and, and sort of chatting and so on and so forth. But maybe, you know, that you would enjoy that. Um, Venus is in an area concerning money, property and other basic stuff up until the 24th. That's quite nice, <laughs> even though some of us might overspend. But um, there is a feeling of support there or a feeling of teaming up with somebody else or just hanging out with somebody else. And the pair of you together are really enjoying what you have access to. And there's goodies in the pipeline there or this is a good time for an energy exchange or this is a good time to get a good deal on something. Then from the 24th, uh, Venus moves into this very sociable, chatty um, sector, making connections, sector, maybe uh, paperwork sector, an education um, uh, area of your chart, but you feel supported and you are also there to give support as well in both of those areas. Um, this is a good time to uh, get a good deal again um, and also to plead a case if you needed to because you can be very persuasive at this time. Until the 27th, Mars is at the root of your chart along with Saturn. I've already mentioned that. So that means you could be busier than usual because of the home base, because of location point on the map, or indeed it might be because of family members. Um, it can be extended family or tribe as well, neighborhood. So you take that out further, but it's kind of local. Although nowadays, you know, here I am sitting here talking to you and you may be thousands of miles away and still it feels kind of local to me. Um, so, you know, it's kind of global, really, this local concept now, isn't it? Uh, we're all under the same sky and we're all standing on the same earth. So um, there could be occasions when you feel... Um, when you feel more sensitive and 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 then in this fretting pernickety energy is 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 kind of leaking through you know um but like i said before um something to do with the past emotional reactions emotional patterning will seem more obvious to many of you now or you will be evidencing this in others around you now for some parents uh, will be um, emphasized. I think I mentioned that before. 
um, but you could also be putting your energy or taking decisions because of society's traditions whether that's to do with marriage christenings you know um, honeymoons or whether that's to do with something like <laughs> what is it what, what what society's tradition sort of you know paying a penalty for for not having a parking ticket or something like that or maybe i don't know i mean that's quite a recent tradition really isn't it but yeah yeah we could we could factor that sort of thing in so it could be on the plus side or the minus side depending on how you're vibrating i guess and what you're pulling towards you now, um, but the reason why I'm making a bit of a fuss about this is that it can be a bit of a downer, this vibration. So one has to kind of pull oneself back and reset if one knows how to do that. And if one doesn't know how to do that, then try and find out. Um, from the 27th, Mars goes into a more spontaneous, even romantic area. It's to do with children. So there might be the need for more activity or busyness or um decision making uh because of or with children young folk um could be animals could be partners there could be somebody coming along in a romantic sort of sense actually with mars here and venus is in, is in a sort of place from the 24th as well to, to 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 fit in really really nicely with that so um this gives you more of a trigger to get out and party or to um, be speculative and take a bit of a gamble on something. Um, definitely it's a feeling of being more in your power, more, more sort of centre stage in some way or another. There could be occasions when um, you're feeling a bit more competitive as well with Mars here. Uh, it's time to get out and, and get active uh, with projects that you enjoy which are re rewarding and empowering, or stay in, you know, do a hobby. And then from the 23rd, um, finances, goods, property, or anything which affects your material security or physical well-being will become more of the center of your attention. Jupiter. Now, Jupiter's been in your sign for many, many months, and it's time for Jupiter to leave, as it does every 12 years it comes in and then it leaves. Um, after staying for a year so this has been a real expansive growth spurt year for many of you you will recognize that I mean I would say for all of you but that growth spurt might happen in a limited kind of way depending on where your current circumstances are on your timeline or some of you could have been having an amazing explosion of, 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 of change and and um, uh, an abundance maybe or real real new things coming your way now that same planet uh, with those same principles of expansion abundance learning curve as well learning through doing is going into a house of money property resources of all kinds possessions of all kinds assets or things that you can make assets and also yourself as an asset and your talents as an asset so this will be a long 12 months uh, transit teaching you lots and lots of new things and it could just be that something lands on your lap out of a clear blue sky which you kind of go oh i don't know whether i could do that but then maybe something will tell you actually that might be quite fun to do that that's the feeling with jupiter it's it's not like a kind of oh, I better had, like with Jupiter, uh, like with Saturn. Um, it's a sort of, wow, maybe, just maybe that could turn out okay sort of feeling, you know. Um, but more on that later anyway. And then, of course, uh, Neptune, uh, I covered that a little bit earlier. So um, for you, uh, Virgos, um, uh, born in the first few days of your sign or up to six degrees rising you're going to be feeling that new position of, of Jupiter the most and those Virgos born from the 17th of September or with from 27 degrees rising are going to feel the old position of Jupiter the most and then Saturn um, Virgos born the first to the fourth of September with nine to twelve degrees rising are going to feel that the most and then Neptune hasn't hasn't moved actually um, if you heard last month it's the first to the fourth of September or with 9 to 12 degrees rising so you, you can see how close it is to um, Saturn because they're both in the 9 to 12 degree window right okay so that's it if you know your rising sign and moon sign listen to those this stuff is written up on dianagarland.com and I'll see you the next time